guys welcome back to another video so this video it might be a little bit more boring but it might be more informative for people who are getting into resin or anything that has to do with wearing a mask so if you're trying to find like a good respiratory mask to wear if you're doing resin or if you're sanding anything you definitely want to watch this video or videos like this talking about good respiratory masks. So I'm just going to talk about the respiratory mask that I have. And actually I just received a new one today so I'll show that one too. And this was requested so I will talk about like how to put it on and stuff too. Okay, so this is the mask that I use for my resin stuff. Um, so it's 5-3M and it has these filters on it. Um, this is kind of what it looks like on the back. These are the 60923 filters. I'll link them down below. I got all of this stuff off Amazon. So I'm pretty sure this was like 15 or $20 or something like that. And then these were like 15 or $20. So it ended up being about $40 total. Uh, but it is a good investment if you're going to get into resin because even if the resin that you're using says VOC free or whatever, um, you just want to be safe and especially if you're gonna sand resin at all you definitely want to use a mask too so when I first I got this it took me forever to put these uh, filters on to figure out how to put them on um, if you don't know how to look up videos of people doing it anyway I'll show you guys how to put this on so basically so this is how it looks at least this one I don't know if they all look like this or not but this one anyway um, and you just, you're gonna put this over. I will sound weird once I put this on. Um, so you're gonna put this over, make sure that it's obviously on your face like this. I'm gonna try to make it so you can still kind of hear me. And then this thing right here, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna turn around, okay? All right, so it's gonna look like this and then you're just gonna put it on your head like this so it's sitting there around your head and it kind of just falls into place. So it's not too hard, okay? Um, so then it's sitting there like this, but then you have to take these straps here and wrap them around your neck, basically. And then you just basically take this hook and this right here, and just like that. And now it's on. <laughs> and for some reason it's not feeling tight enough, which like for me, like it's tight enough, it's sealed, I'm good. But it's like for some reason it wasn't tight enough and it's like, yeah, that air is getting through there, or if it's too tight, then you just pull these straps. Just pull them like this until they're tight enough up here. And then this one back here, uh, these two back here, that pull that tighter. So yeah. And then you look like a weird, but cool, like an alien or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, and then you just unhook it right there, take it off. And you just slip it off. Yay! Okay. So, um, hopefully that makes sense to anybody that gets that and needs to figure out how to do it. Um, I did just receive a new mask today. Um, this one I will be using more when I'm like sanding furniture, if I'm sanding resin, um, usually sanding something or just, I don't know, if I feel like I need eye protection. You can wear glasses with those, but it's kind of hard. Um, to wear safety glasses because there's still like you know the gaps in there and it just i mean unless i just haven't found the right safety glasses i don't know so i bought a mask like this so that it would also protect my eyes so when i'm sanding especially i just don't want the sanding dust like flying into my eyes so that's why i got this here and obviously i haven't put the um filters on yet i think i'm just gonna take these off of this one and put them onto that one either that or just buy some new ones um, these are still good. Let me just take these off and put them onto those on this uh, onto this mask. But I mean, I did try it on. I mean, obviously this is my first day having it, so I don't know if it's amazing or anything. But it had good reviews, and it was cheaper than a lot of the other ones were like hundred dollars or something. And this one was like forty or fifty. I think it was like forty five maybe. I don't know something like that. So and I just tried it on, and it seems like it's really good. So and I'm just. As long as my eyes are being co covered and then obviously if it's protecting my nose, my breathing, 
then we're good and obviously if it's comfortable but it felt comfortable so let's just i'll just show you real quick um this is what it looks like on the back so this is what goes over your head but basically you just put your head through here and my i'm gonna sound weird again um but so now it's in front of my face but it's not tight enough so i'm gonna do this so i know it's, this is where it needs to be um so there's straps on this one, it's right here. So there's a strap right there, I'm gonna pull it. And then the strap here, I'm gonna pull that too. Um, pull it so it's tight. And then there's straps up here too. Yeah. So you're gonna pull that to tighten it. And it pretty much feels like this one. It's basically, it feels like this part. It just has that on it too. And pretty much it just kind of feels like it just seals in my face here. Like it's, like it's pretty sealed right here. And I can tighten it even more, make it even more sealed, but, but yeah. And then I'll show you what the back looks like. It just kind of sits there like that. So I'm really kind of excited about this one. And if you have to take it off, just... I think, unless, oh, aha, uh -huh. see, I just learned something. All you gotta do is just pull this and then it'll let it go like that, so. I was wondering what this right here was. And then I wonder if it's like that on top too. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, cool. So then you untighten it. Awesome. So I'm actually kind of excited about this one because it's going to protect my eyes too. And basically this little deal on the inside basically just feels the same as this and it feels like good quality i think it's pretty good i think hopefully i mean i can update you guys what i think about this one you know after using it a bit but i mean it feels comfortable on my face which is something i was worried about i was wondering how comfy it would be and it feels good so that's good okay yeah so see I'm, I hope I can put this back on, but so I just twisted it. So there's like little like groovy things right here. And then there's some like, so like the groovies and then there's like slots there. So you're gonna have to put those into the slots like that. And then it's in there and then, and then you twist it Ah, aha, and then it's on there. So then basically it's the same, it's the same way then. So the groovies right there. And then you just put it in there so that it's facing down. If you were looking at it this way, it's it's pointing down. Um, and then you twist it because you kind of have to, it's kind of hard to twist it. And now it's like that. You just have to put the other one on, so. But anyway, so that was about my respiratory mask. I'll give you guys an update if you guys want to know if that new one that I just got today is a good one or not. That was it for this video. If you want me to make more about other stuff that I work with, um, just let me know. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it did help somebody out there. If you guys want to, please give it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And comment down below if it did help you or if you want information on something else or whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. I wanted to show this painting that I did a long time, not a long time ago, a few years ago. I just want to show how cute uh, my little horses are and this little barn is.